All right, let's talk about Will Anderson Jr. I made a video on his first game, but now we are here talking about uh, his second preseason game. What was he able to do against the Miami Dolphins? He certainly showed some flashes, so definitely someone who I was keeping an eye on just in general. Again, uh, very rarely do we see a team that's sort of in a rebuilding situation trade a future first-round pick to get a, you know move up in the draft to get a non-quarterback. Of course, the Texans feel like if he lives up to what they think he can be, they would gladly pay that price. But there's a lot of pressure on Will Anderson to succeed. So let's see how he's doing so far in this second preseason game. We're going to start off with this play, which is he's going to be getting a kind of double team. There's a, you know, a tight end who's going to start off, who's going to chip him a little bit, then runs out towards the bottom of the screen, and then the left tackle takes over. That's how this play is designed to work. As you see, right when the play begins, it works okay. It's a little bit sloppy by Miami, and that might have just been a good job by Will Anderson to kind of power through the initial contact the tight end had uh, to where, at this point, there's not a ton that, uh, you know, not a ton that really was benefited from that chip. So already a pretty good job by Will Anderson to get to this point. But okay, what do you do from this point? Okay, you know, good job. You didn't get yourself too out of position despite getting chipped. That's a benefit, but you still have to find a way to now create the pressure. And as of right here, there's pretty good hand placement from this Miami Dolphins right tackle. I'm not looking at this as like a disastrous uh, scenario from my you know, from Miami's perspective due to the hand placement. So what do you got to do? Well, you got to use your hands to try and figure out a way to uh, make that hand placement not quite as good. What I want you to watch is going to be uh, Will Anderson's left hand and how he's going to grab onto that right tackle's right hand. Because again, right tackle, right hand, that tends to be the most important things. So you got to get that out of position and watch how Will Anderson is going to use his own left hand to make that happen. Look, as you see, that's exactly what he does to where he's able to get to this point, which is obviously a very good situation. Now, there is still maybe something the Miami Dolphins tackle can do, which would be just try to push Will Anderson back as far as he can, uh, so that way you can hopefully push him behind the quarterback. But honestly, in this scenario, that seems pretty unlikely. And as you see in practice, it just does not happen. Luckily for Miami, they were able to get the ball out uh, before Anderson got there. It was an incomplete pass down the field. Uh, but, you know, really good stuff, I thought, from Will Anderson to put himself in this position. Now let's go over here. Because that last play, I mean, I think if you've watched enough of my film studies, you know, I don't really tend to pay attention too much to just the results. I mean, obviously you care about results. I mean, that's something you should pay attention to. But what I also, kind of what I mainly do with, with film study is just, did you do what you were trying to do or did you fail to do what you were trying to do? A lot of times getting an actual sack or getting a tackle is a lot of luck. Usually, like, you know, I prefer stats like pressures or PFF grades because that those kind of tend to be more uh consistent I think but you know what's fun results you know what's fun splash plays and let's show one here where this is the way this is supposed to work is it's a play action and I, I guess that's just who's supposed to block Will Anderson is supposed to be the uh you know the halfback maybe there was a pulling guard maybe he was supposed to get over and block Anderson and, and failed to do so I'm not exactly sure but watch Will Anderson runs in, realizes it's a passing play, and you know blows up the halfback and gets to the quarterback, knocking the ball loose. That is a star play, and that is a highlight real level play. Listen, no denying that was a bit of a fluky situation that worked out for him, right? I mean, you know, we have to just acknowledge, yes, it helped that nobody was really blocking him other than the halfback, who also had to be a part of a play action before then, so it wasn't even like he could just run over and block him straight up. He had to fake something else first. Absolutely a benefit, you know, a good situation for Will Anderson. You know what's going to happen in this NFL season? There's going to be snaps where he's in a good situation, and the more you take advantage of those snaps, the better of a player you are. A good you know, good football players take advantage of their opportunities, and that's what Will Anderson did on that play. This one's another one where it's basically that exact same thing of a good opportunity. This one, you know, definitely a great opportunity that's going to present itself for Anderson. I I've circled where he is on the field, but wait a second, Jackson, who is blocking him? What's the what's the setup for this play? Well, the setup for this play is actually going to be there's a miscommunication. Uh, it looks like a snap count uh, error that's going to happen. 
watch how when this ball is snapped, no one really blocks Anderson. Uh, and a lot of players, you know, a lot of the offensive line kind of just stands around as if they assume it was a false start, but it was not a false start. It was the center who was the one who looks like he snapped the ball early, which is what has created this situation. So Will Anderson, again, taking advantage of the situation. Who knows what's going on right now? Will Anderson doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know anything other than there hasn't been a whistle blown and he's in the backfield. So, okay, try to make a play. As you see, that's exactly what he does. He runs in and does make a tackle uh, on that halfback. That was a, a good play by Will Anderson. Again, a, a fluky situation that doesn't happen too often. But again, take advantage of those situations. If you can get in that spot, yeah, uh, make the most of it. And, you know, I do like to look at as well, how do you perform on your losses? This is a touchdown. I mean, this is a touchdown. So usually we don't talk about good defensive plays on a rushing touchdown. That's not something that usually happens. And I'm not even saying this is a great play, but it's just something I like about Will Anderson, where what's going to happen is looks like it's actually a stunt right off the bat where you're going to have the uh, interior defensive lineman is going to run towards the guard and kind of push the guard further towards the top of the screen. Anderson then runs in between the center and the guard. Usually these types of plays can actually be a bit of a hindrance when it comes to the running game because it can get you out of position, but this time it's not actually going to really work out that way. Watch how when it begins, you see how Will Anderson, I mean, he has a running lane to get through this uh, situation. So it's, again, something you see in the passing game pretty frequently, uh, usually not in the running game. So a uh, good situation, you know, there's a bit of a, a I don't even want to say a break though, because it was just a well-ran and well-done uh, play by Houston. It wasn't necessarily they got lucky like some of the other plays were. This was just they executed properly to get Will Anderson uh, into a position where he can try and succeed. Uh, uh, and so if he can run down to the halfback, maybe he could get a tackle. And watch how close he gets. I mean, he was right behind right there. If someone just slowed down that halfback a little bit on the bottom of the screen, there would have been a tackle for a loss, and we would have had a third down and goal situation present itself. That is not what happened in this situation, but it was still, I think, uh, a play that shows just what he can do and kind of his motor and how he can find ways to impact plays, even if he didn't actually impact this one. So what was my take from Will Anderson in this game? I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. And again, we can sit here and say some of this stuff was luck, but you know what? I, I do feel like there is something to, it feels like the best pass rushers in the league also just find ways to get lucky sacks and to get lucky tackles for losses. You know, it just seemingly happens because you do make your own luck to some degree. You know, my thought on sports luck uh, has a lot of times been usually you need some breaks to go your way just in general, but the best players are the ones who, when a break goes their way, they make the opposing team pay. And that's what we saw from Will Anderson, along with some just straight up good plays too. It wasn't like he was only getting lucky and taking advantage of those plays. He was also just winning in traditional ways as well, because if he wasn't doing that, I, I would be a lot colder on this performance, but he did both, and I think that's why it's it's very optimistic, and again, I think you can say two different things. I think you can criticize the trade itself to give up a future first-round pick uh, and to, you know, and your your current first-round pick of that year to trade up to get a, you know, select a player who hasn't played in the NFL yet, but you can say that and also say he's still a really good prospect and is probably going to be an awesome player for Houston. Like both things can be true. I do think that Will Anderson should be an awesome player for Houston and he's showing that so far in the preseason. So that's what I think about Will Anderson Jr. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.